Ever since I posted on Facebook and Twitter that I purchased the NIK collection uh, on Google, I've, get, I've been getting a lot of questions of going to each program and plug in and to show you exactly what it is. So I'm going to do a hands-on review slash edit an image, kind of. I'm not going to fully do it, a raw file, and I'm going to use uh, specifically Silver Effects Pro 2. So you're going to see an awesome black and white plug-in editing uh program that is really going to beef up and boost your black and whites and I do not regret it whatsoever. So your first question to me might be, well, what the heck is the NIK collection software? Well, it's something that's really, really popular and that a lot of people have taken advantage of since the price has, you know, basically jumped from, you know, being like $300, $400 to $150 bucks, and you could even discount codes to make it like $123. So it's something to keep in mind. Yes, the price tag sounds big, but trust me, if I can justify it, I really, I really prefer something like this, but you'll see why in a minute. Yeah, here's what you get with the Nikon collection. You get an HDR FX Pro, which is actually really good. I don't do a ton of HDR because I don't prefer it, but it's something awesome. You get a lot of stuff for portraiture, uh, for colors, boosting colors, um, and everything, something like that. But I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna specifically go into Silver FX Pro, the black and white editing program that is just freaking awesome. So let's jump right into it. Here's the raw file I'm gonna edit. Okay, so here's your raw file. This is just a nice can, a, a candid moment that I got. I was just laying on the ground, the kids were playing, whatever, it's not about that, during a Thanksgiving uh, photo shoot for a family. So, as I said, we're going to jump right into it, and this is what I would do. I would open up my RAW file, and it doesn't matter if you're using Lightroom or Photoshop because it's the exact same thing. You're editing a RAW file, and you're just going into the program anyway. So what I like to do is just, I, I will do my edits, so, you know, I would fix the crop a little bit. I'm not going to go 100% into it because it's not this type of video, but, you know, I'd fix the crop, get it straight, etc., you know, work with the framing a little more, blah, blah, blah. Great, awesome. So, But the, one of the first things I would do is, you know, maybe I would get just what I like, right, the uh, color temperature and everything, but really it kind of doesn't matter because you're just going into black and white. So what I like to do personally is just go drop the saturation down and I will drop it down to black and white myself. Yes, it's not going to be as contrasty. I mean, you can adjust it uh, according to what you like. I like it very contrastistic. So it's, it's an awesome word. So I'll set it right here. Uh, I get it just a slight touch because you can really go into it within there. Okay, so I'm going to open up the image. So all I did was just adjust it for how I liked. So now we are going to jump in here. I don't like using this one. Uh, if you say if you don't have that screen, you will go to right into your filter tab, or and it'll show up in uh, Lightroom as well. And you go to your NIK collection. You get all the things here that you could use. But as I said, we are targeting Silver FX Pro. So you're going to notice that this will load up, and this will load into the program. Now while this is loading, I'm going to tell you something really quickly. Um, you can use this program separately. You don't have to use it just as a plugin. But the problem is when you use this, so if I just went to my applications and just opened up the program by itself, it'll open up, it'll have everything you need, etc. When you go to save the image, so you could do the exact same edit uh, through the plugin or through uh, the program itself. When you go to save the image, your image will be greatly compressed. I learned that a hard way when I was doing a, a wedding uh, photo and I was just starting to use this and it really looked great. But then the file went from like uh, 10 megabytes to like 1.9. And I was like, what the heck happened? So keep that in mind. So I don't necessarily use Silver Effects Pro, the program by itself. I just use it through... Um, my Photoshop and the plugin, and it doesn't degrade it whatsoever in this. It'll keep it as the way it is. So just a heads up if you're wanting to use that. Once again, I learned that the hard way. So I was like, I'm gonna run through the options and I'll show you how I would edit this. Okay, so you see it is in black and white. That's great. Now the reason I say kind of leave it a little flat, I mean I did boost it a little bit, is because I like the way it handles the uh, the contrast in here. So you can really beef up to get yourself. It just looks great. Once again, I like a more thick black and white photo, but I'm gonna leave it to um, zero and we will go from there and I will run through exactly what you can get so all in all you get a huge selection of things you can um, use and really it's just pick and play pick and play you're choosing so you're going to show something underexposed which obviously that doesn't look great you're going to show something overexposed um, landscapes use this a lot high contrast you'll see a lot of music uh, photography uh, you got your smooth high contrast and it just real See if you notice what it does to um, the image here. It just smoothens it out a little bit. And it's not as harsh, especially on the wood or detail. You'll get something high structure, which takes away a lot of um, contrast. And you get a little smoothing, smoothening. 
and you're going to really notice that high key and once again just play play your heart desires you get low key low key chew um push process that one's actually not that bad but um you know i i don't prefer it I don't honestly use a ton of these. I have on occasion used maybe a higher contrast because it did something easier and, you know, it got the look that I thought wanted but without trying to think a ton into it. Full spectrums uh, tend to be nice as well, but it's really customizable. Once again, you know, here, just keep looking. Try Trist. It's a flatter one. I don't really like that one. You know, we got Wet Rocks, which is actually kind of cool. That, that works. That brings out some detail. But as I said, you are looking, there's just a ton. You got soft sepia tones, which is great. But one of the huge things you can do that is uh, down here, and I'll show you that in one second. Um, but cool tones, great, fantastic, but that blows that out. So once again, this is what you're getting. Boom. Just run down the list because I know you'd want to see that just in case if you want to purchase um, this. Antique plates. Some of these are really kind of cool looking with the tone you can get. But once again, you can get that through um, doing something through here as well. And as you look, you know, as you notice, if you're, if you like some certain settings, notice a change as, uh, you know, what you're using. Pinhole doesn't look good at all. So those are the huge ones. Um, you know, those were, I, those were all of them, but you can go into specifics. As you saw over here, there's more modern, more, uh, more modern ones. Um, here, let me just get this back to uh, the original. Uh, classic, which is great, and then um, you're going to get into uh, vintage ones, and that's when you get the specialty ones. So it does break them down, but I showed you a majority of them. But here's exactly what I would do. Um, okay, well, I guess before that, I'm going to show you, you know, what you're looking for. And what's great is you can look down here, this loop and histogram thing, and you can really see, uh, you know, what it is doing, what you're doing. So it's like you're looking through, through a magnifying glass. Uh, so we're going here. Uh, you can actually import a custom setting so you can make one that you really like and you're like, oh, I like this brightness at 14%, blah, 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 and you can make it and bam, it's something quick you can have towards next time. I don't really have one because I just go through um, as needed. Imported, you can download them. Um, you know, yeah, if you have something, you can download it. That's great. You can find them online uh, in your history, and that is exactly what you have done, what you have used, uh, and everything like that. So very easy to go through and use. Uh, you can use dual images so you can see how it is happening on this side, what uh, what you're doing. So look for something like that, exactly how it is. This is your original side on the left, and on the right is um, what it's doing. So you can see exactly what that's doing uh, in real time. You can do it uh, cross screen. It doesn't matter. Uh, zoom, yeah, once again, it's all the same. This is exactly as you're treating it is like you're doing a um, just a regular edit. So selective adjustments, you can go in and control uh, one specific area. So if you want to control the eye, uh, you could do so. And you could brighten the contrast structure and everything just from the eye. So if I really want to do something random, I could look right at his eye and it has changed. So let's look at that. Let's bring it back. You know, and that's lightened it up. So you could do something uh, really controlling like that. Color filters. I don't tend to use a ton of color filters because there's no need. But once again, you can go back to your control points and you can use that from there. Let me close these up. Film types. I actually don't really use much either. But, you know, use it to your uh, heart's desire. This is just whatever adds to... Um, it's just like as you're shooting a film camera, well, just like you're shooting a film camera and you could add it to the image to make it look, you know, however you want. Uh, so it's just a nice little thing if you're into that type of thing. I always keep it neutral. You can train all the type of things. But this is a main tab you want to have open and that is the finishing adjustments tab. I know this is kind of running long, but once again, I'm just giving you the in-depth, um, delete that. So, okay, so I'm just going to edit it the way uh, it is, and I'll show you this in a second. So, as I said, I like the way this came out. It came out kind of thick, so it was neutral, but I really want to adjust the uh, contrast a little more in this photo. I like something like that. It's really high contrasting to me. I, I do like that personally. Uh, maybe I want to mess with the structure a little bit, bring down, you know, take out a little bit of detail because I like the way it holds. So, with something like that, yeah, it's a little blown out up there, but as I said, I'm not doing this perfectly. Um, maybe I can come down just a little bit, you know, that's great. I guess that looks better. This is huge. Once again, this is why I love this program. Yes, it's just color filters and you can do them a certain way, but I love the look that this gives you. And it, once again, it really steps up your game. 
One of my favorites is um, a selenium, and I'll go through each really quickly, but I love this tone. It's still black and white, but it's got a hint of silver and blue, and it's great. So I love uh, something like this, and that's what I use when I deliver this photo. But you get your neutral. This is exactly what you get when you, um, this is a regular black and white. You get this pinkish type of tone, which I don't really know what you would use it for. This is a cool kind of green horrorish type of one. And then it goes through the various levels. Selenium. It's really thick. Then you go through a blue toner, which that one's pretty nice. Uh, you know, as you see, it's going there. Cyanotype. Boom, boom, boom. Coffee, which is which can be interesting in round. It's a different type of sepia, but obviously sepia is a little darker. Copper toning is pretty cool. Um, but as I say, you can get really heavy with these. It might not look as great, but do it as your heart desires, as your sepia. Um, this is a really nice sepia. It's 20. And Ambro type is really interesting as well. Uh, I don't know what the heck you would use this one for, but uh, 22 is awesome because it gives you a nice little brown tint. But this one could be used if you're doing something more antique. But as I said, my main one is Selenium 4. So you'll see me with a blue tint. And then you could add on your own vignetting through here so you get some mad fall off. Mad fall off, what am I, 14? Um, don't ever use a white frame at all. Please don't ever do that. Black frames, uh, which is great. Uh, lens fall off, I usually use like a maybe a one, so it's just something different. Burn the edges, you can obviously see what that's doing. I don't do anything with them, it doesn't look great. And borders, play with these to your heart desires. If you really want, I don't, I don't do it, there's no point to me, unless specifically requested. But, I mean, that's it. That is Silver FX Pro. I ran into everything in pretty in depth with you. And that's what it is. It is a really awesome program plugin that you can buy, and it will step up your game 100%. Uh, I promise you. And yes, a lot of people are like, well, you just paying $150 for that. No, as I said, it's a collection that is extremely on sale right now. It used to be more expensive a couple months ago, but about a month ago now that I've had this, I think I've had this for about a month. I love this thing. I paid 100, uh, 120 something for it with the code. And yeah, uh, and the other options you get for some portraiture and everything like that. If you guys want some more of that, let me know down below in the comments and we'll go from there. If you guys have any questions, uh, let them uh, put them down in the comments as well. And that's all I got. There's Silver Effects Pro. A lot of people use this, a ton of professionals, because it's something great that will boost your black and whites.